day by day is the shizzle. What it do, what it is, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I am your host, Day Day, and today I have a special episode with two special guests, and uh, really, I guess you could call this a family affair. Um, I'm joined, first and foremost, by my cousin, my cousin RJ in the building. What it do, bro? Yo, yo, what's up with everybody? Yes, sir. Then joined also is his lady, Kalia. What Hello. it do? So, um, I have you two on here uh, for um, one of many reasons, which is for those that are listening and not viewing. If you're viewing, you can see that we have an array of, you know, great uh, design hoodies laid out. So, the both of you each own your own clothing brand, correct? Yes. All right. So, let's get straight into it. Uh, We're going to go ladies first, how we do it here. So, I want to ask both of y'all, you know... What does your clothing brand represent? The name of it, first and foremost, and what does it represent? Let's start with you, Kalia. So, Callaway came about during COVID, actually. Mm. Um, It was me and my best friend. We actually were just talking, and I was trying to look for new clothes for myself. Mm -hmm. So, I am a curvy girl. It's kind of hard to find clothes that fit me. So, I'm like, girl, I need to find something that can actually fit my thighs. Like, Mm. I need something that I can wear. So I started it with, like, the biker short sets. Like, that's really popular for ladies. They like to, you know, dress it up, dress it down, things like that. Mm -hmm. So I found a material I really fell in love with. It's stretchable. Um, It fits to your body. It's not too, you know, clingy, like, sweat marks. If you happen to be a sweater, like, you don't get any of that. Mm. So that's how it basically started. Um, The name Caliway, it actually came from my name. Okay, I figured. So Kalia is spelled K-A-H-L-I-A. And we just got rid of some of the letters and mm-hmm. came up with Cali. So it's like it represents me since I'm, you know, curvy girl, things mm-hmm. like that. I just want girls to realize, like, look at me. We can still look cute even though we got curves. Mm, there you go. I like it. I like it. Plus the name, Cali Way. It just, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's, it's some type of enlightenment that goes with the word Cali. And then your colors, you know, like I pointed out before, that blue one especially. I think that's a heather blue. That color, like, it's, it's a lively color, so the name goes perfect with it. So, Thank um, you. yeah, and that's that's key, you know what I'm saying? Being comfortable, you know. Um, I think now time is different. We're moving more towards an age where all across, you know, tall, curvy, big, short are being represented more in the clothing um, industry, you know. Before, it was just, like, you know, skinny models that represented everything. Mm-hmm. Now, they're, you know, uh, being accustomed to all shapes and sizes of people. So, yours is doing that as well. So, that's what's up. Now, RJ, let's let's get on yours. What's the name of it, and what does your clothing brand represent? All right. So, basically, my clothing line name is Humboldt Clothing Line. The reason why I came up with Humboldt is honestly just because um, certain uh, at, at a point in time, I was going through certain things as far as mentally, just, you know, things with family or just my personal things. Mm-hmm. Um, so I really thought about it like humbled. What does that word mean to me or what could it mean to others? Um, no matter if you feel like your back is against the wall, you can still be humbled and find that outcome. Or you can pray to God and, you know, still be humbled. Or you might be winning at the top, whether it's, you know, you just bought a new house, new car, this, that, and the third. But there's still ways to be humble and humble yourself, you know, to keep going. Absolutely. Um, so, and then also I have two sons, so it's just more so I got to keep going for them. Um, so I came up with Humbled. And also the main reason why I'm doing this, too, is for, like, the community and for the kids. Because a lot of people have clothing brands, but they don't look out for the kids, too. It's more so just some women, some men, mm-hmm. or they just, you know, just doing it for just a quick buck. Yeah. I'm more so wanting to do it for, like, the community, for family. Even I was telling Kalia that, you know, even if we have extra inventory or just even do extra inventory to um, give out clothes to the homeless, too. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's not about just making a quick buck, you know, so 
that's why I came up with the word humble, because um, no matter what's going on in your life, you can always be humble through any situation. You know, that is a fact. And I like how you pointed out that even when you're winning, mm -hmm. you may have, you know, got a new house, new job, just something to where you really like, damn, I'm, I'm up like I'm feeling good is you're saying it's still important. It reminds you no matter what to still be and stay humble because yep. as easy as you got it is as easy as, as it can go. Yeah, you know what I mean, and I—I I mean, I—I I believe karma is the realest bitch I ever met in my life. So, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, but not only that, uh, two things that I noticed with y'all, uh, with y'all statements to y'all clothing lines. First and foremost is the time frame that y'all came up with it. It wasn't just out of the blue, like, hmm, let me think of this to make a quick buck. Clear, yours was more to contour to, you know, uh, your figure, your curvy figure, along with other women who have curvy figures. So that's really looking out. Humble was to not only, you know, uh, be around a certain uh, enigma of being humble, staying humble, but like you said, you looking out for the kids, first and foremost, it's the youth. Mm -hmm. So that's what's up, you know what I'm saying? Um, just anything that goes, any type of passion that goes really from the heart or comes from the heart goes much further you know what i'm saying that's why i brought y'all here that's why this episode is releasing you know what i'm saying the day after both of y'all released by the way right yes, yes. All right, cool. <laughs> so so uh, so it's it's up and running right now you know what i'm saying that they this is the official release you know uh kind of you know a uh, promo um if you would um um so yeah and that's another like like i said that's a main reason why i brought y'all here it's it's a passion that's coming from your heart and it's in the beginning stage, you know what I'm saying? I, exactly. I I know a few people that have clothing lines that are successful and have been for some time. Okay. But I wanted something fresh from the start. For one, I want, you know, you guys to look back on this um, three months, six months, uh, nine months, a year from now and really reflect on it. And everyone else, you know what I'm saying, who's right. involved with it, including myself, so they can reflect on it, you know what I'm saying, see, you know, where it started, the base of where it started, the humble stage of where it started, the beginning yeah. to where it can lead to. Um, so that's what's up. Yes, sir. So um, we, we, we got, you know, uh, what encouraged y'all to start it. So what I'm trying to ask is it's a lot of people I know that talk about they want to start a clothing line. Mm -hmm. Um, with many things, like like even with the podcast, I be telling people, you know, it's, I've always heard, you know, people like, oh man, like, you, you, dad, you're doing your thing. I want to start a podcast too. I'm about to start right. a podcast too. Never happens. Mm -hmm. Clothing lines, I'm pretty sure y'all can attest to too. Y'all know people that, you know, have spoke on starting a clothing line and having or whatnot. So what, you know, what gave y'all that push to actually take the step and not just, you know, think about it or, you know, just speak about it. Because it's easy to come up with the idea. Yep. The reason why y'all came up with the idea was stated. Now, what gave y'all that push towards taking the initiative and actually getting things going? You want to start first? That's fine. Okay. Um, I would say for me, I think everybody, even though you may have the same brand. So speaking of clothing, even though it's several different brands, it's about how you put your brand out. So even though someone may have something, even though it deals with hoodies or even like biker sets or whatever t-shirts, it's how you sell it. It's how mm. you present it. It's how you're bringing it to the community, how you're bringing it to your buyers, how you're bringing it to possible new sellers, things like that. If you're given the incentive to push your brand and you're confident on what you're selling and what you're putting out and you're wearing your brand, you're out and about and someone's like, oh, hmm, what's that? Yeah, mm -hmm. It's about how you're presenting yourself. Mm. I know for me, I'm not really worrying about competition because hopefully in the future, I'm going to be that competition as well. Yeah. It's all mm -hmm. about believing in yourself. And I know sometimes it's hard. It's like, dang, you know, this is a bad week. I didn't sell anything. Right. But all of them started there. Nobody mm -hmm. was successful on one night. It's about how you're networking, how you're branding yourself, believing in yourself. A lot of prayers, a lot of tears. It's like you just got to put in that work. Got to stay down. Yeah. I love that answer, Kalia. That was great. Um Cause that that's the competition part, especially a lot of people, um, you know, see something in the, someone in the same field that they're trying to do, and get discouraged because they're five steps ahead of them. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, oh man, but not realizing they were in the exact same spot at one point. It don't come overnight. But the, the, the just to go what you said, the energy don't lie. When you put the energy out, it attracts. It don't lie. So RJ, what gave you that push to put your thoughts into action? Um, well, funny story, actually, how I first came up with the name, I was sitting at work, I'm a certified lifeguard, so I was sitting in my chair, just sometimes I just get deep in my thoughts, so I came up with the name, um, I went to here, got an LLC, and then also to like kind of skip 
past that just a little bit more it was more so just i got tired of just pushing my dreams to the side so mm-hmm. i decided to tackle them full like you know just full hit of steam right and also Kalia actually helped me too to just keep pushing me and motivating me um to where even just the old logos i had or the old shirts i made she's like oh i even like this and i kept telling her like well you know these shirts are old like that's not even the new logo that i rebranded right and she still was like well i like this i like that and Antonio also, that's one of my sons, he keeps, you know, talking about this. And I also let him know that he's a part of this brand for the kids line. That's for you and Z. That's mm-hmm. my two sons. So I told them, like, that's for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and take care of, like, the adult side, uh, the adult brand, you know, and he has a kid brand. So basically, like I said, I just got tired of pushing my dreams to the side. I just yeah. wanted it to be, you know, about family and just community. And then I studied for a little bit. Just like Kalia was saying, competition-wise, I'm not really worried about competition either because a lot of people rush their product. And then next week or the week after that, they don't have anything. So Mm -hmm. it was more so just studying the game, looking at how to network, looking at how to promote yourself, looking at how to uh, promo your brand or just different ways to network. Because at the end of the day, sometimes, like like Kalia said, you might have a good week, you might not have... Uh, uh, yeah, you might have a good week, or you might not have a week at all. Right. So whereas though you might wake up and nobody's even hitting your line for selling stuff, but then that's why I also thought to myself like, okay, I want to do something for the community too, like whether it's clothing drives or clothing drives with food drives or back to school. So either way, no matter if I'm making a hundred thousand or a hundred today, two hundred tomorrow, I'm still networking with people. They're still saying that okay, this guy is thinking about more than just money. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it was, it's deeper than that to me. So That's what's up, yo. I'm honestly learning so much from y'all talk, from you two speaking. Y'all mentioned, you know, branding, of course, which is very important, which we will get to. Um, networking, creating LLC and whatnot. So I'm going to be honest. I, I would like to, you know, uh, within like the next month or so, turn day by day. I, I need like some type of, you know, uh, merch for day by day. Okay. which, you know, T-shirts, hats, and whatnot. Okay. And I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people out there that are listening that, like I said, will also like to get into the clothing line. So let's 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 give a little bit of free game. You know what I'm saying? That's what okay. we're doing here, right? So what are some of the steps? I know y'all kind of mentioned it, and they were kind of all over the place, but, like, um, help me along with someone else who's trying to, you know, um, soon get into, like, you know, the clothing line. What are the, some of the first, you know, steps that need to be taken and following that on getting it going? Um, you want to go first? Let me go first. You can go. Okay. So basically, to so like I was talking to a friend and also just you got to think of what you can do or um, how to make your brand pop or just, you know, yourself, how to get yourself out there. So yeah. if you have an idea, like, like I just said, I was in a lifeguard chair, boom, came out with the idea. Okay. Sat down, sketched up some stuff. Then I said, you know what? To go legally, um, one of our cousins, her name's Shelly, she basically told me that I need to look into the legal part of it. Yeah. which is the LLC, mm-hmm. okay? So I got the idea, then I got the LLC. After that, I didn't even make any clothes or sell anything. I kind of would make it things for myself just to see, okay, well, how does this look? Yeah. And then I put certain stuff on my son. How does this look? So I really just started gathering up ideas, finding different vendors. There's, that's one of the most important things, too. But but you found the, I mean, because you're off, but you found the, the foundation was creating the LLC yeah. as far as, having it um on the legal side of it being your asset yes all right so that was the foundation okay then like you were saying uh, about um, the vendors yeah i even just uh, i'll tell you more about the foundation part so yeah with the foundation as far as the lsc is very 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 important because yes i can get out here and make hoodies shirts and stuff like that but there's probably somebody in texas or uh chi- china or something like that probably making the same thing or had the same idea as you but as soon as you get the LLC and you have your name on that paper, nobody can take that away from you. Mm. So you you don't even have to sell anything just yet. But the fact that you patented and put your name on this and you came up with the idea, that means that this is solely yours and nobody can literally take that from you. You know, so really, yeah. So basically, like they said, the foundation yeah. really is the most important thing. Mm. Um so, yeah, I really, to me, I think the foundation is just the go-to. Come up with the idea, look into the legal part of it. Um, and study the legal part too because for myself I still am doing a little bit more studying um, far as you know just if I sell this amount I got to still work on figuring out how to do the taxes and things like that mm. too because it's more than just selling clothes yeah. and pocketing yeah. money and getting more clothes You it's deeper than that because nobody might be noticing us now but when we start selling this and that, they're going to be looking like, oh, these people are making this amount of money and mm-hmm. they got a building now or something like that. So let's start digging into their taxes. Let's see if they paying this. You know what I'm saying? Or 
how can we sue this person maybe or just anything so you just always want to make sure that legal part is taken care of before anything else cool cool and then yeah the taxes do go hand in hand with the llc yes. um yeah yeah it makes it easier you know what i'm saying if, if you know you know if you don't do your googles yeah all right so we got the foundation we have the legal part of it we got the llc we have the ideas now uh how do we proceed i would say build a team oh yes and that's Ooh. the biggest team part yes. that i think is the most the next tiresome portion outside of the legal side mm -hmm. because you have to find people that one you can trust because people are hmm, conniving, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you also have to understand criticism is going to come. So as you're building and you're sitting down and you're thinking like, oh, this idea is how I want this to work, someone may say, no, I don't think that's it. Mm -hmm. And you got to be accepting of that to understand that they're not coming at you, they're not shooting down your idea, it's critiquing it mm -hmm. to make it better. Mm -hmm. So it's just, some people can't take that. A lot of people can't take that. They a lot of people nowadays, in, in, in your team, they hear, you know, if I, if, like earlier, I kept it a buck with you about something, right? Yes. That's because that's, that's love. But I know that you're the type of person, I say that you won't be on something, oh, he's hating. Right? right but most of the time like you said most people they would you know if if it's positive criticism like i'm saying it for your best interest mm -hmm. a lot of people be like oh why are you hating you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and uh okay so yeah so you would rather have a team that keeps it a buck with you no matter what exactly uh, that is key and even if you feel like they're hating take that hate and turn it into your stepping stool to just you know what I'm saying? Drag. Oh, well, maybe not. Let me not even just say drag. Dude. Take that step of stool to really do better. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Make your product even pop. So that way that nobody can have no negative, you know, say. But at the end of the day, somebody's going to always have a negative thought. But you just have to tune your mind to just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Stay tunnel vision. If this is your goal, this is your dream, just stick at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely get that some people cannot take criticism on whether it's good, whether it's bad. Or whether somebody just asks you a simple question, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people just can't take anything. So. Yeah, and you just gotta walk away and let it be. Yeah. But y'all are, I mean, y'all have dropped some absolute gems so far. The foundation, the legal side, and then Kalia, yours with the team. An entrepreneur's greatest asset is his team. Yeah. So I really love that answer. All right, so, um, okay, so boom, we got the team made. You know, we find out we want a team that'll keep it a buck with us, and we know how to move with certain criticism. All right, cool. Now how are we moving? Vendors. Yes. Vendors. yes. Vendors. Now, the vendor side, please research. If mm. we have not learned something during this, like just trying to find a perfect vendor, is research. Yes. Mm. We've had a lot of trial and errors. We had, you know, more so good, like good trials, of course. Yeah. But there were some errors. Yeah. Um, we did. Um, and make sure as you're finding your vendor, you're communicating with them. Build a bond with them. Find their email. Um, if they do like. WhatsApp, I think that's most popular for the ones that overseas. Just okay. make sure you're figuring out how to communicate with them. Because without communication, your product can get lost. They'll act like they don't know that you paid them, things like that. So just make sure you're keeping track. Um, I know when we order, we have a book that we put everything in. We put the uh, expenses inside as well. And we make sure we're getting all the product we're ordering. Mm. Because vendors will try to jip you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's something you really have to watch out for. Yeah. All right. So, okay, so first and foremost, how do people, how would someone find um, a vendor? Like online, but like, is it just, you just like, is this a certain, you know, uh, website you go to to find them? Or like, how do you research and look up uh, certain vendors? Um, I would say uh, you can research it, um, ask questions too. If you know somebody, like you were just talking about people that have clothing line, we know people with clothing lines too. Oh, Sometimes... Right ask but also like we were saying as far as like criticism wise some people don't even like you to ask questions so they might not even share mm. you know their vendor or how they got this and that there so it's kind of like like Kalia said build a relationship whether it's researching through vendors ask people um google searches see if they got the highest stars or just anything like it's basically like she said it's trial and error mm -hmm. sometimes you might have to spend 300 plus and and get half of order you know what I mean? It's going to make you mad because nobody wants to waste their money. But right. like you said, it's really trial and error. Even Absolutely. if you're doing it yourself, even if you're doing custom orders yourself, it's still trial and error when you do it. So you're going to have to order, you know, more than just five hoodies because you might mess up two hoodies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you're supposed to have an order of five. So it's like 
basically you just everything's just trial and error you got to google search google search google search find somebody that you can trust into that's going to see you know you're you win too you know what I mean? So you have to trust, you know, people that's not going to think, oh, this person already blow up over top of me, da da da. Yeah. At this point, man, that's over with. Everybody has to help each other build up. You yeah, know, what I mean? it's, so it's more than enough for everybody to mm-hmm. eat. More than enough. So is y'all specific vent? Not, I, I don't want to know y'all. Spe- well, we we can talk, but I don't okay. want to put y'all specific vendor out there. But is it overseas? No, it's no, actually not right now, based no. in the states. Right okay. Now. Okay, so is that more beneficial than it being overseas, or is it, uh, or like which one would be like more, uh, I guess cheaper? Is it cheaper overseas, like vendors and whatnot? I would say due to COVID, right now vendors in states is a little bit better. Okay. Um, than vendors overseas because Kalei can tell you more about the overseas ones because we tried some overseas ones and I think some of the pricing for our shipping compared to the uh like you know the. What am I trying to say? Like, basically, the inventory. Mm-hmm. It, the inventory might be cheaper, but the shipping might be higher, yeah. which doesn't add up. You I know got what I'm saying? So, but, yeah, I know she could probably piggyback more off of that because we kind of, like, split our roles up in okay. the business, whether even if it's her business, my business. But at the end of the day, it's still, like, combined it in a way, mm-hmm. you know? So we don't look at, oh, she might wake up tomorrow and make, you know, 1500 I might wake up the next day and only make $100. We're not even worried about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's basically we building together. Um, so yeah, building together. And you know what? Um, that's another reason why I, I wanted to get y'all on here. And I was, I was happy that it's both of y'all on here with y'all own clothing brand. I want to talk about, you know, the importance of grinding as a team, but y'all have y'all, y'all grinding as a team, but with y'all own thing. Mm-hmm. Right. So how important is that to y'all? Very important. Yes. Mm-hmm. We push each other. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some days where I'm just like, forget it. I don't care. Mm-hmm. There's some days he's like, forget it, I don't care. But it's like, we're both telling, no, we're not stopping. Like, even on those days where it's like, I'm either looking for the vendors because I'm looking on different websites. I just use Google when I basically just type, like, what I want. So whether it's a T-shirt, whether it's a hoodie, whether it's jeans, then I'm just doing research on different people, seeing that, you know, remarks from others who've ordered from them. Mm -hmm. And there's times where I just get so frustrated. I slam my laptop down. I'm just like, I'm done. And then he's like, take a break. Yeah. Like, calm down. And then he's more so on hands on for getting the product done. So, like, if he feels like it's overwhelmed as far as, like, well, I'm at work and he's at home, you know, just basically getting things done, he's like, well, I need this. Da, da, da. So, it's like, it's more so we are now finding a balance. We now have days where you're going to do this, I'm going to do this. Yeah. We used to butt here sometimes. I mean, we still yeah. probably going to, but it, it makes it better. <laughs> right. Yeah, it makes it yeah. better for us because it's like we both, we both see that we want to win and we both can see the progress that we're going to make and keep making. Um, now mind you, I'm not no, you know, future teller or nothing like that, but I can just tell, you know, just with the team around us or just the family around us, you know, everybody is supporting. So I feel like, you know, the times we butt heads, it's like, it's, it's for a reason like, all right, yeah. yo, we gotta, we gotta tighten up. You yeah. gotta uh, yeah. go back through our list, make sure everything's right. We gotta make sure that this I is dotted and this T is crossed. You know what I'm saying? So we just, you know, keep going. And like I said, we don't look at it to where it's like, oh, she may make more or I may make more. At the end of the day, it's like, how can we put this together? How can we build together? How can mm-hmm. we keep it going? How can we make sure that we have inventory for when we start this website? Because um, we're slowly working on um, when we do that, that there's even because uh, there's people now trying to order like stuff like this right here. Mind you, I told people that these are the pre-orders, but mm-hmm. this week, too, we also going to do more pre-orders. And the reason why I'm doing pre-orders is so, so what is a pre-order for the pre-order would be basically like this. So. At first, when we did pre-order as far as like with some people, we did, okay, you guys can pick what color hoodies you want, pick the little logo you want, just to see, you know, just to see people uh, interact with us to see if they're going to bite, okay? Mm-hmm. That was step one to me. You know, that's just how we wanted to do it. Yeah. Now, next time, what we're going to do is another pre-order, but we're not going to let people pick like, you know, the color hoodies mm-hmm. or the color logos. We're going to literally, you know, have a base of certain colors, just have them. let them pick through mm-hmm. it. But also what we're going to do is do pre order so that way everything is by the book. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. I don't want us to be where, you know, say, you know, some websites you go to order and it'll say that it's on there. You click it and you might swipe and pick your card. The next thing you know, it's not even on that website. Mm-hmm. And I know for me shopping, that makes me kind of mad. Yeah. So it's like, I'd rather everything be 
by the book. And sometimes, I mean, some people don't like things about the book, but that's just, I feel like that's just going to help us be great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just to have or- organization is the most important thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and kind of off topic, but similar how you said, like, you know, you may swipe on a website mm-hmm. with a uh, like vendor and then it's not there. <laughs> I, I say that because um, I, ordered a, uh, I ordered a jersey. I ordered the Eagles jersey mm-hmm. off a website. And it was like Eagles uniform something. It seemed legit. I ordered it. I get the receipt. It says coming from China. Mm. Jerseys are, are made in I want to say Guatemala or Honduras. Okay. They don't come from goddamn China. Everyone know like China is make it makes like knockoff clothes and right, stuff, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it took like a month and a half just for it to get to me, and it looked outrageous. Like I was sick, and just like I couldn't send it back because it's China. Like I'll be spending more money sending it back than you would, yeah. Anything yeah. else? Um, but you yeah, know, okay. So you know, uh, with the pre with the pre, uh, pre orders, we got to why that's important. But just like I said, the fact that y'all are grinding together, um, I just really think. Oh, I know that needs to have more light shed on it, and t- especially today where it's more like, uh, you know, with couples, this or yeah, with couples first and foremost, is is you rarely see it to where both are grinding at the same time. I always say like Jay Z and Beyonce should be more so like you know the couple that people look up to more than you know uh, Quavo and Sweet. Well, can't say Quavo and Sweetie now, nah, but yeah, can't say that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but you know, um, but you know stuff like that to where you know they expect um, the man you know should be grinding more so than the woman, and then you know kind of you know shop with her, which can come with it. But why not have it to where y'all both yep. can you know you know shower yourselves mm-hmm. and then that just makes it more you know uh, appealing when you you know do it with your partner or whatnot so you know the grinding couple just needs to come back i just feel yeah. which is and enough. it makes it easier yeah yeah yeah, you know? yeah so i just wanted to give y'all flowers for that because it's it's not seen as much out here you know what i'm saying the grinding couple is like you know the couple where it's always a battle or you know uh more expectation than mm-hmm. it is pushing each other and grinding with each other yeah um I was gonna say something. Yeah, I was gonna just say yeah, because like I said, it makes it easier. Um, because like Kalia, she might be at work, but yet she can go ahead and search up vendors or mm. type up emails to where I mean, I can type up emails and stuff too, but it's gonna sound like how we just kicking it on the yeah, on, yeah. On outside. Y'all, y'all know y'all strengths. Yeah, so you go ahead and do the stuff that I know everybody gonna be like, oh wow, this is a nice email, or this is mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying you came to me the correct way to start yeah. a business or whatever the case may be. Whereas mm-hmm. though, I might get out there and be the one that might talk to the people or. Uh, uh, promote it more or try to go sell it. You know what I mean? Because right. it'll be to where, man, I'll wake up today, she might be looking upset, man, I got you. I'm ready to go take the hoodies down, wherever, and, you know, just get them, like, get them gone. Just do right. what I got to do because, you know, I'm not saying she doesn't have a hustle of mindset. It's just some people are more, you know, interactive as far as getting it out there. Yeah. Whereas, though, she might be the one that's going to keep everything by the book. Keep, exactly. Keep, hey. You know, the records mm-hmm. intact. Whereas, though, she might look at my hand right and be like, Babe, what is this? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just easier, and it's like, like you said, you can't look at it like y'all in competition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, so. y'all are truly a team. Y'all yeah. are, you know what I'm saying? Shaq can't play the one. Nope. You know what I'm saying? So y'all are really using y'all assets <clears throat> for each other's, you know, advantage, but still elevating both of yourselves at the same time. Exactly. That is what's up. All right, so we got the plan, right? We mm-hmm. got the LLC. We reached out to vendors. We got pre-orders. So we have the material. Now, let's talk about the other half and other most important part, branding and marketing. Okay. Right? So how important is that to my clothing line? And, you know, what are some ways I go about that? What are some ways y'all go about that? Don't give all of y'all sauce away, of oh, course. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> what, are, what are some ways that, you know, branding and marketing I use to my advantage? And how important is it, of course? I guess. Um, I think with the branding and marketing part, it falls back to team. So Mm -hmm. I feel like you should have roles in your team. So we, I know for myself, like we have um, basically like a branding marketing person that we can go to. There you go. Um, She basically majored in it. She knows the aspects Mm -hmm. of it, things like that. Now for Antonio, of course, he's good at selling. He can go out there. He can talk to the world. Yeah. Me, I'm behind the scenes. Okay. Uh, like you said, I like to do the email and I like to do, you know, just a little talking behind the screen. Mm-hmm. So for my like branding, if you have where you're like me, you're shy, have that person who can speak out for you. Mm. So that's why I said have that team. If you have a team yeah. member who's good at making a page for you. So as you're selling, like put this on there for me. 
make it look good make it you know sound great this is how i want it to this is the price i want on there mm-hmm. these are the colors like just have that person that can do that or if you're fine and doing by yourself just make sure you have someone who can piggyback and yeah. basically look over it because you don't want mm-hmm. it to sound like ghetto i don't want to say ghetto but ghetto Un- unprofessional yeah I mean, if, you you're, if you're selling you something want you want it to, to seem as professional and clear right. cut as possible yeah. and yeah. you don't want people to get the wrong picture mm-hmm. either um, and you always want to make sure that when you are branding and you're marketing, it looks neat. So you don't want to just throw something out there. It goes into that rushing process. Yeah. Understand that when it takes longer, it's because the process is worth the wait. Mm-hmm. You don't want to rush something that wants to come out good. And I yeah. think that's where people miss that. Like, oh, it's taking forever. Oh, my gosh. Like, no, it's taking forever because time is being put in effort, like thoughts. Mm. It's not being rushed to just get out there to get the money for it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's a fact. All right, so, um, how was how was you know uh, uh, RJ branding and marketing? Of course, how important is it? You know, what I'm saying from your perspective, and how would you go about it? Um, I think it's uh, top tier. Like, I think it's top one. Um, be- only because we can make all these clothes, but if we don't, you know, do word of mouth or post stuff on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever they may have you, nobody's going to know about it. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I say word of mouth first is because people are on Instagram and Twitter and will see you post stuff in your stories or in your page and they will just, you know, click right past it or something. Or when it been in some instance when me and Khalil, we actually, Ben was talking about pre-orders, this, that, and the third. And people two weeks later or three weeks later or a month later, like, oh, I didn't know you guys were making hoodies. Can we get one? But the thing is, we were promoing this for at least a month straight. You know what I'm saying? From uh, my regular page, from my clothing page, from her regular page, from her clothing page. So you have four pages that are promoing this. And then people wait a month later to be like, oh, I never knew. Mm. So I do get that sometimes you might have to go out there and do word of mouth or print out business cards. Just hand them out. Flyers. Hand them out. Um because like I said, you can promo all day long on Instagram and Twitter, but you have to be sociable also too, um, like I was telling her. But like I said, I'm not going to give all the way to gems because we have some other stuff that we want to yeah, do. Of course, of um, course. You know, get out there. And my thing is too, I'm not even, I love Baltimore, but I'm not worried about me blowing up in Baltimore. I want the world to see it. Like yeah. it's not just a, a Baltimore city, Baltimore County, Maryland thing. It's, you know, around the world. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, there's more you got to just dig deep into you know how you got to promo around the world and things like that so and that's key that's mm-hmm. very key of course Um, it starts within your community that's yes. where it starts but mm-hmm. you know some may have a, a tend to think that you know that's that's where that's it. it goes and ends yep. but you know it, it, it's good to have a foundation that's mm-hmm. the foundation but then you want to push it out as far as yes. possible exactly. mm-hmm. yeah all right, so shoot, that's that's great. All right, so y'all y'all gave great you know advice to someone who's trying to get one going. Start with the idea, get the LOC and legal part going. Get your team together. Make sure it's you know a team that you know everyone can rely on and elevate and you know really push each other. Mm-hmm. Reach out to vendors, get the product branded and marketing. How key it is and ways to go about it. Now, what's the feeling y'all feel? You know, uh, you know when you see someone that has your product wearing your product and they truly like they're not just you can tell like they're like oh yeah this is nice they truly like appreciate it like they love the material they love the logo they love the color and all that how is that feeling like you know is it worth all the time and stress and bumping heads like y'all said that y'all go through is it worth all of it it is yeah it i think it's a great is. feeling and it's i know it's a couple people especially like girls who've ordered for me over the summer they have i'll be on their instagram page or something like that and they're wearing their sets Mm. and it's like it's not because and they'll tag me in it and it's like oh so you actually do wear it like you didn't just buy it in the moment like Mm -hmm. there's a couple girls that actually say oh this is my airport fit like when i'm going to the airport like you know everybody needs something comfortable and i'm like well just for you to feel like my clothing you can wear to the airport and be comfortable in like that means a lot Mm -hmm. yeah it's basically like everyday wear. You don't have to just wear it, you know what I'm saying, uh, when you want to go out to the club. You can wear it around the house. You can, you know, wear it to go work out. And that's another thing, too. We don't want people to just to think that cl- the clothes are just fa- just for, like, a fashionable night out. Mm-hmm. It's for any type of wear, like anything. You know, you can go work out in them if you want to. You can, 
you know, well, I'm not going to say swim yet. That might come soon, too. Uh, I'm not going to give too much up on that one. But, like I said, it's everyday wear. Just even seeing my son in it right now. Because, like I said, basically, you know, I love, you know, the women, the men, the adults, stuff like that. But the kids are the mm-hmm. one that really are yeah. the exciting ones of it. So, just mm-hmm. seeing my son put the, put the clothes on and just see, you know, that the stuff that we literally just made now and people are kind of, like, biting at it right now is just exciting because it's just like, Okay, you guys are really excited for us, which what helps build our confidence up day by day. Yeah. So then, like Kalia said, once people start wearing the clothes and tagging them, that like I said, that's just a great feeling because after a while, you're just gonna see this person wear it, this person mm-hmm. wear it, and mind you, like I said, even give them to the homeless too because you got to think you're making them happy by putting clothes on their back. So you know we see homeless people all the time. So just imagine one day you just driving and you see this homeless person still wearing your hoodie, mm-hmm. mind you. Forget that they don't have many clothes. The fact that they're still wearing it and the fact that you just made that person probably happy and made that person warm at night. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You got to think deeper than just that quick buck. And that's probably why I'm going to always keep saying that. Forget the quick buck. You know what I'm saying? There's, it's deeper than that. So, Absolutely. I, this episode, my most previous episode, Skip, shout out to Skip, where he was talking about, you know, first and foremost, it has to come for, from the heart. It's not a uh, passion. It's not just, you know, for the quick buck. And just like y'all are saying, I mean, shoot, that's that's the type of energy I like to have on the show. That's the type of energy I bring on the show, you know what I'm saying? But that's the type of energy that uh, boomerangs and comes back to you. Mm-hmm. That's how the universe and God works. Um, all right, so also, you know, uh, what I like to do with, you know, people that I'm around or whatnot, we like to speak things into existence, Okay. right? That's that's a, a key of life. I'm starting to realize more and more, just speaking things into existence. So exactly. let me ask y'all. What's your dream collab for mm. for uh, for your brand? Well, she might know, but right now I think we're still kind of thinking on it. I'm just gonna say on my side, I think we're yeah. still thinking on it. Yeah, yeah, separately. Um, so, so each, oh, okay. let me, yeah, let me get an answer from each of y'all. Like, right. who, who's like that dream collab? Like, what, like uh, Nike, Gucci, Louis, oh, who, with other brands. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So like Humble and such and such, or Cali Way and such and such. What's like a dream collab that y'all would love to happen? Um, love to have happen. I never really thought about it deeply as far as like a dream collab. I kind of just thought about, let me get my myself out there first and kind of see who bites the one to collab with me. Because mm. um, I can go ahead and hit up Nike, Under Armour. I don't really care about the Gucci and stuff like that. Like I tell her, and um, right now, like just certain stuff, like people that got me back to writing or get back into music. So just like I told her, um, it's more so... Who cares about the designer part at this part? We can, you know what I'm saying? If I want some designer stuff, I could just, turn you know, turn design. my yeah. our clothing line into that. So yep. it's more so I didn't think about um, the big collabs with the big companies. I honestly would want to collab with, you know, smaller companies or mm. companies that know where we're coming from or how we started. You know what I'm saying? So I'm all about the build-up process. Even though the sky's the limit, I don't want to start up top. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to start from the mud and work your way up. So mm-hmm. that's just how I think about it um, right now. So I probably really don't think about like the big collabs. I, it's more so let me get my feet wet, let me you know get yeah. my reps in, let me get my shots up, and then you know maybe one of the bigger brands will see me. Let the you know fish come Look, to you. Yeah, like let it just come to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, God already knows what we're doing. God mm-hmm. already knows what our brands is going to be. Mm-hmm. But we had to see it in ourselves. And like I said, the people, um, and even you having us on the show is boosting our confidence up. You know what okay. I'm saying? So. Whereas though, right now, I have a hoodie on right now. No, This is not even on the table, okay? So this is going to be another drop also, too. So it's just like, even though you guys see this, we're constantly working. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be just a one-hit wonder. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me on far as, like, you know, big collabs. I Like I said, my first collab is really with Caliway. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we're a couple. So that this right here is really a great collab because it's like she pushed me to keep going. Even though she was already doing her, she pushed me up there. Right. And she didn't say, you know, she didn't push me up there and, and think like, oh, he might do better than me. Da, da, da. No, we literally, literally are sitting down coming up with ideas together. And um and like I said, even though this is a collab right here, we're thinking about how to try to brand them together in a way. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's my big collab I've thought about first. Really just branding with, you know, clear the one to my left hand side right here. That like that's basically how I be thinking about it right now. That was a great spin on my question. I mean I like yo, like seriously, that was a great, like, great answer. 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's why you hear. That's, y'all see, I don't have like regular people on here. I don't <laughs> no, have. Sir, this is not even. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't write yeah, anything. Yeah, bro. For I don't. Show. I don't have regular schmegula. Like I, I really. Me, I'm thinking. Okay, he's gonna say Nike or Adidas. Nah, he flipped the script and let it be known. First and foremost, this is the collab that mm-hmm. you see and mm-hmm. that you've been witnessing for the past 40 minutes. And not only that, the dream collab. I ain't gonna think about a dream collab. The dream collab gonna think about me mm-hmm. once yep. we get it going. Damn. All right, yes, sir. All right, I like it. I like it. All right, so we gave a lot of gems. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all gave y'all testimony on where this came from, how it started, and where it's going. I loved it. All right, let's 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 switch it up just a little bit, right? So since I have a cu- uh, couple, my second couple on the show that I've had, by the way. Um, so I, 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 you know, like this as well. I want to keep this going. Let me ask y'all something. We mentioned earlier with uh, Jay Z, Beyonce, and the Saweetie and Qu- uh, Quavo thing, right? Mm-hmm. So y'all being a couple, let me ask y'all something. Um, it was like a whole, it's like, it's pretty much like a whole type of war kind of thing going on, <laughs> on as far as who's taking whose side with this whole Saweetie and Quavo thing. And we're not going to get into that situation. I don't want to shed a light on that because right. we really don't know, like, it's, what's really going on. Yeah. yeah. But that's the influence that social media has on relationships mm-hmm. and its audience. So mm-hmm. let me ask y'all, is there a limit of what social media sees in regards to y'all's relationship? You can go, go with that first. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, we are not the type to go to social media for our problems. Mm. That was one thing we definitely stated before. Honestly, before we even dated, honestly. Okay. That's something that both of us, we didn't have no question with. Like, if we're having a bad day, bad week, or whatever we're going through, the world is not going to know that. Mm-hmm. And it's just not their business. And at the end of the day, it's kind of like, y'all are going through it. Why put it on the internet? Yeah. I mean, yeah, the internet's like, you know, your free space to, you know, voice your opinion, this, this, and the third. But it gives insight for people to basically get in your business. Mm-hmm. Share it. And just like the Quavo and Sweetie, just share what they think happened, what's going on. Like, mm-hmm. you don't know that person personally. We don't know either of them. None right. of us do besides, of course, their families and who they're around every day. Right. We only saw what was in the spotlight what cameras caught exactly and that's something that we're not interested in i mean we're we'll show you know definitely you know good times things like that but it's just like everyone's gonna have a bad day yeah Yeah. like you can't just every bad moment exactly you Uh can't just say oh well this is my idol couple because they don't go through anything no it's just about what is shown to the world that's what it is yeah and it's like you said, you're not for it. Most people won't be for it, but some people actually be for it. Going to social, yeah. as far as their relationship yeah. problem, going for every single speck of something negative and then wonder why, you know, the audience that they went to with it is always criticizing the person that they talked about. Yeah. Um, it's for entertainment, basically. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's entertainment. I forgot who told me. This was like great advice. It was one of my football coaches in college was saying how like okay with any relationship whether it's uh your girl or a friendship any type of relationship that comes to like a you know a, a bump or whatever you know mm-hmm. some type of um uh, altercation whatever it may be whatever you're about to go to twitter and tweet wait 24 hours and then tweet it you know what i'm saying or mm-hmm. see how you feel 24 hours After. later yeah exactly. yeah makes yeah. sense exactly. yeah so rj your take on you know the whole you know um uh what social media sees in regards to your relationship mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I don't. I we. I my not me and Kalia, but I've been there before with just exes where we might have ran to social media mm. and people be, uh, trying to chime in on our relationship, and then they'd be like, "Well, shoot, we crying wolf at the end of the day because we all we doing is turn back around and still being with each other." Yeah. So after a while, people will start to be like, "I kind of don't really care about what y'all going through anymore." So mm. it's more so like Kalia said, the good days you may post it, and then sometimes honestly. We might not even post anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we may take pictures together here and there, but we don't care about being that social media couple at the end of the day. Um, because, like I said, people are still going to know what we're doing when we don't post. People are going to still want to know what we're doing when we do post. So it's just like, keep, you know what I'm saying? Not that we're keeping each other secret, but keep your relationship. Um, you know, basically what happens in the house stays in the house. Yeah. Basically, let me just go ahead and put it to you some of that. What happens in the house stays in the house. Um, and whereas the only feel like people really care as far as like uh, paparazzi and stuff when you uh, made a name for yourself, like a big name for yourself. Like right now, Amigo, uh, yeah, like Quavo and Sweetie. 
we really don't know what's going on with their relationship, but the fact that now that they know something's going on and they're going to take, you know, maybe a song that Quavo did or a show that Sweetie was on and try to be like, oh, well, he must have been talking about her in this yeah. song and she talking mm-hmm. about him in this show. Like, people just got to just keep their two cents in their own pocket. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's just more so like, like Cleo was saying, just keep your relationship self, like stuff to yourself. Yeah, you could post the good days. Just don't worry about those bad days. Don't go to nobody for bad days. And if you feel like this, and this just came on the top of my head just now. If you feel like you guys are having bad days, um, some people think that therapy is bad. No, just go to therapy. You know, talk it out with a person that literally, um, I, I'm not going to say that he or she don't want your best interest, but they're getting paid to literally sit there and listen to you. Mm-hmm. Whereas though your friends or whoever, they not going to, like they'll listen to you, but they're not going to listen for so much long because they're going to keep giving their two cents. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So where's like- Might be biased towards one side. Yeah, so it's just like, even though you coming to them for an honest opinion for your side of you and his side of you, you know what I'm saying? People are going to be like, well, girl, I've been told you stop messing with that nigga. And mm. the whole time, at the end of the day, you might find that same girl that told you that might be in your ex nigga's DMs or same way. The nigga might be telling the, her, oh. his girlfriend, I mean, his, you know, his yeah. home girl the same thing or telling his man the same thing. So it's just more so like now that the way the world is going or even probably we just now waking up to it. Just keep it to yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just keep it to yourself. Because even like I said, you can post a picture today or tomorrow. We could be happy, you know, or be on, on the island or something. People can be like, oh, well, they just was this, that, and the third yesterday or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And I'm glad you said that. I saw a post that was uh, an artist. He sketched a drawing of it was the IG, you know, screen of a couple. Mm-hmm. And then, like, to the to the left of it, it was, like, split. And then to the left was, like, the off-screen shot, the off, you know, off-the-scenes shot, I should say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, dark. It was, like, a dark picture mm-hmm. that pretty much went with what you said. You don't know what someone, that everyone, you know, wants to see that happy couple online or whatnot, but you don't know what's going on right. on the other side. Mm-hmm. Um, another question or another thing that regards to social media and relationships I want to ask y'all. I was watching an um, interview with Moneybag. Okay. And it was, he was talking about when he got Ari the, uh, what was it, Lambo truck for her B-Day. Oh, yeah. And how, like, afterwards, like, his homie hit him up and was like, bro, you done fucked me up. Like, my girl, da 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 like, she like, where my Lambo truck? And then everywhere, I mean, that was everywhere. Like, every afterwards, mm-hmm. like, you know, a lot of women was, like, looking at their nigga like, where my Lambo truck? <laughs> right. So, does, does social media, um, you could talk about y'all situation now or, you know, any past, you know, thoughts that you had uh, pertaining to it. Does social media have any type of influence? on expectations for us uh no. yeah and ha- for y'all or do y'all see it in the uh, all, for y'all also do like do y'all see it like in the world has like expectations shifted in regards to you know the influence from social media um for us no we don't we're not into that whole social media couple thing like cool. i mean we'll say like oh this is cute this is that like mm-hmm. but that's it okay. we don't do so, the whole oh you- because these people are together. We need to be like them. Mm. No. Um, but for the world, yes. Everyone is brainwashed. Like, yeah. they feel like you have to I be have the yeah. India and Dirk or the money mm-hmm. bag and Ari. Like, mm-hmm. no. Make your relationship your relationship. Mm-hmm. They're doing what works for them. Mm-hmm. That does not mean that's going to work for you and your person. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to make your own unique relationship. So if they want to be out here spending Hundreds and thousands and millions on trucks and clothes and whatever. Fine, whatever. Burger mm-hmm. bag. Yeah. He can go to McDonald's and get me a chicken sandwich and I'll be happy. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, it, it is what it is. Like, it's just that people, I feel like, especially our generation, I feel like they feel like you have to be materialistic. Like, you have to go out. You have to get the, you know, expensive clothes, the expensive purses, things like that. Yes, that's great. Mm-hmm. Yes, we may do that here and there. But that's not what defines our relationship. And I feel like that's where people lose the relationship at. They mm-hmm. feel like it's a competition. Oh, I got you got me this, so I got to get you this, and we got to show the world we did this together. Like, right. that's just no. I don't know where this new that new way came from. I don't understand it. Church yeah. girl, you just yeah. preach. Yeah, that is. Right. <laughs> that is, that is <laughs> preach, but it's from. I mean, from top to bottom, that is complete facts. Um, it, I mean. It, like you said, it's brainwashed. That's where yeah. it came from. It's it's just it's sad, and it makes it harder for like you know 
y'all have it the right way and it makes it harder for people including myself who have the same thought process as y'all who are single out here but majority of the world it's like it's like walking through the walking dead you know what i'm saying it's like not everyone has that same mindset so it makes it harder come across that's why i'm so cheap now because like every time well not every time but you know a lot of times like I may come across a female she may expect something mm-hmm. and i'm like yo what is buy a bag off the what, what is going oh yeah the birkin bag yeah. wave I, you, it, you it's ridiculous or something yeah. like that and she never uh, been there her own in her own I, I, man it's it's spooky man mm-hmm. and i and the burger bags i seen a picture of them joints them shits look normal as fuck yeah man it's just the name yo, birkin. yeah birkin you know what i'm saying it's literally the name if you say <laughs> if you can hear yourself say it birkin it, it just sound like it's hard yeah. you know what i mean birkin bag right. like literally that's all it is to it it just sounds hard Good you know lord mm-hmm. oh man we're gonna get better, y'all. We're gonna get yeah, better. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to. Hope so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cause just like she was saying, a Stay chicken true. sandwich from McDonald's might just make her happy. Yeah. I know the other day, I, I think I was like, you know, not feeling myself. I was probably just down. She bought me probably what? Some candy and some backwoods. I was happy. You know what I'm there saying? Like go. simple. simple yeah. Like really some stuff. Or we'd be like, yo, let's just go get some food. And just, mm-hmm. That's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you just gotta kind of find the person that's gonna kind of. You know, uh, well, not copy you, not well, relate to you in a way, I guess. Yeah. Um, whereas though they want the same goals in life, or you know, because like I said, yeah, that's key. Yeah, basically the main thing is that make sure they want the same goals in life as you. Um, whereas though I know sometimes I might get in a mindset like, dang, that dude look cool, like money bag already they doing this and third, but I'm also like, look at the lifestyle that they live. Mm-hmm. If I know dang on well we aren't already driving Ferraris this and the third, or if I'm not doing shows every night making a hundred k plus, why? I mean, at the end of the day, it's fine to wish for that, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I, we got to do what makes for, make us happy because yeah, we can go out there and try to get that, and then we are gonna be broke. So we are gonna mm-hmm. be two broke people looking at each other, <laughs> and then that's gonna make us start to resent each other. Like, yeah. dang, why do we just do this dumb yeah. stuff? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so it's just more so like that. Like, make everything equal. Like when me and her move. You know, it's going to be both our names on the house, not just her, not just me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So where it's like, but if we feel like we want to get into this stupid argument and be like, man, fuck this, we want to dip, guess who credit going to be fucked up? Both our credit going to be fucked mm-hmm. up. So we both going to be looking so at each other like, like, all right, well, we both the stupidest <laughs> yeah. shit for this. You know what I'm saying? So it's more so like that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like I said, everything in life is really team-based. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything is really team-based to where one day she might not have it. One day I might not have it. One day, shoot, my back might be hurting, you know what I'm saying? Or her back might hurt. It's just more so like we feel each other pain and we try to boost each other up. And that's why to go back to the clothing part, like I said, she was already had her idea. I had my idea, but I was like, man, fuck it. She was already doing her stuff. I told her about that shit. She was like, yo, I don't know what you're doing, but we ready to get you back up and running. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? She yeah. pushed me to do it. So it was just like, I feel like me just going through the things I was going through and just praying and just, you know, just staying focused. God really just brought me her to be like, all right, both of y'all got clothing line. Push yourself, okay? Both of y'all are family-based. Let's, you know what I'm saying, build a team foundation around that. You know what I mean? My birthday's August 29th. Her birthday's August 28th. Freaky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. it just... It's What's just y'all signs? Virgos. Virgos? Virgos? Yes, sir. I fuck you know? with Virgos. Yes, sir. So, it's just more so just like... take. Sometimes people just want to rush into things, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take your time. Find yourself again. Because mm-hmm. you can lose yourself... Find yourself and still date somebody, but mind you, with the first word I said, you're going to lose mm-hmm. yourself still trying to find that love, and you don't even know who you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You might know more about that person, but you don't even know who you are anymore because you lost yourself. Or just like we just said about money bagging them, you're trying to catch up to be in a relationship because your friends is in a relationship, or this person is doing that, or they're doing that over there. Bro, stick to your own plan. Trust your own process. In your tax bracket. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't go out here and try to spend money that I know I don't have. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, bump that. You know what I mean? And some people think that, oh, I just spent 10 racks on this. I'm up, bro. You spent 10 you racks on that, but did you invest in anything with you that 10 spent, racks? You could have spent five of those 10 mm-hmm. on some stocks that would have turned into 15 mm-hmm. a year or two from now. Yeah. Exactly. But, um, yo, this is beautiful. This yeah. is be- like I, I, a couple years ago, I wouldn't have got this energy and in, in, in in these words of wisdom from Cuzzo. Yeah, no, real time. Tell you, man, shout, I be shout, out to, shout, yeah. out, shout out to both of y'all. Shout yeah. out to you, Khalid, and shout out to you for growing. Uh, yeah, man. Um, so the clothing line, before we get out of here, I think, uh, you know what I'm saying, got a little something for me. Oh, yeah. So I, I ordered, you know what I'm saying, in the pre-order, cousin hit me up a minute ago. I was like, hell yeah, you already know. If y'all can't tell by the um, by the uh, the color of the mics, the color of the logo, even the color of the paper, navy blue, my favorite color. He looked out for the joint. Yes, so we're 
gonna, to we put gonna, that together. We're going to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, see what this joint do right here, right now, so y'all can get a glimpse of it. And while I'm while I'm doing this, um, I forgot to do this at the beginning of the show, shout out y'all, um, y'all platforms, y'all social media platforms uh, for your clothing lines and how it's spelled and whatnot. Uh, you can go ahead and go first. Um, let me look. I, I love navy blue, y'all. This is yes, hard. And you see the bags that we got too. We didn't want to just give people the regular Douglas shopping bag either. You know? Humble. I'm very humble right now. I appreciate you, cuz. No problem, baby. More to come too. More yeah. to come. Yeah, yeah. Navy blue. All I wear is navy blue and black and red as my secondary color. So this is perfect. Good. Let's go with my Boston hat. Matter of fact. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, um, my Instagram as of right now for my business page, um, it's official underscore Caliway. So it's spelled official underscore Caliway. It's spelled K A L I W A Y. Um, and the emails on there as far as any inquiries you may have, um, any questions, things like that. All right, and then my page because I still kind of use um, two of them. Um, we're gonna go with the business page first. It's humbled. Um, underscore clothing so it's going to be h u m l e d underscore c l okay also if you want to reach me just on my my other page because i'm kind of you know a little bit more interactive on there or sometimes people might just follow me on there too it's the amazing underscore scar so scar is spelled with two r so s c a r r so the amazing underscore scar but 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 Man, I really appreciate the both of y'all popping up. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate this hoodie again. No problem, no problem. You know what I mean? Um, I appreciate everybody out there who's watching or listening, whether on YouTube or listening through your podcast platform, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever it may be. If you like what you saw and heard, make sure that you subscribe, like, and or rate. Um, listen, if y'all if y'all if y'all thinking about making a clothing line. If you need any more motivation or push after this, then, I mean, maybe it's not for you. Like, the gems and the energy and motivation that was on display today, I mean, it was great. You know what I'm saying? I definitely gained a lot of knowledge, and I know, you know, uh, certain, you know, procedures I need to take towards getting day by day on some merch. So, thank y'all for that again. I so, appreciate you. Of course. And of also, course. don't forget, dig deep into yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's that's the important. You got to believe mm-hmm. in yourself, mm-hmm. you know, because some but, days you might not have it. So just you got to keep going. Believe in yourself, speak it into existence and never let go of that vision. Yep. Yeah. So until next time, everybody, make sure y'all stay safe, stay sane and most importantly, stay blessed. Peace.